appearance. So in appearance you have your theme. Now unlike Blogger, you can always change your theme whenever you want, but on WordPress, nah, you don't do that. If you do that, you're going to spoil lots of stuff, right? Because we use codes too. Codes are website languages and website codes are involved in this. So you do not have to every now and then just want to change theme. It doesn't work that way. If you need any change in theme, you should reach out to your website developer to help you sort out that. Because most of the things you see on the front end were custom made with website languages, um, otherwise known as codes website codes right so you don't just do like you see just one thing here and so you don't need to touch any of these sections it's not for you it's for your web developer I repeat it's not for you the your website all night for the developer so customize right so in this customize you can um, change your title you see welcome to blog talk africa africa to the world at this point you can change all that if you want to put a logo it's up to you a color you too you can change but this color i think is specific it's specific for some places header image too because like my blog i had to use codes to block the header image so there's nothing you can do here actually so this is another critical section where your developer plays with i mean this is where he does most of his work Right, basically, see the website codes I was talking about here. Additional CSS, you see all this, they are website languages. If you've not been trained to understand this, you cannot understand as a matter of fact. So, this is where most of the things you see appear on your front end. This is where the real work goes on. Okay, so that's just it basically. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to show you, excuse me, what the appearance is.